When, once you find out what it is, you're like, oh my God, it was staring me right in the face. Today, we will be doing a try not to fail FBI test. Oh. We will be doing the logic-based reasoning and the figural reasoning to become an FBI agent here. You have to pass at least five of them. Okay, I'm with this. Do you think you have what it takes to be an FBI agent? No. I've always wanted to be an FBI agent. Yeah, love a good criminal minds moment. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be the best first in this. I'm one hell of a tough cookie and I'm gonna try. A serial killer kidnapped people and made them take one of two pills. One was harmless and the other was poisonous. Whichever pill a victim took, the serial killer took the other one. Each time, the victims died and the serial killer survived. Wow, interesting, okay. Um, it looks like a riddle. He didn't actually eat it. <laughs> uh, he swapped it out? I'm trying to think of scenarios I've heard in the past and it was like in like The Princess Bride. Thank you. Princess Bride where he just has a tolerant, he has a tolerant, he built a tolerance to the poison called it a day. He didn't get the harmless pill. They're both poison and he's probably immune. If I was a psycho, that's how I'd do it. When the, it was, the poison was in the water. So when they washed down the pill, they drank the poison, but his glass was clean. I'm gonna say he made them take the pill first. Let's see if you were right. All right. Smarty, smarty pants. Close! Wow. That makes so much sense, though. The poison was in the glass of water. I'm a genius! <laughs> well done, Danny. The first person to get that. Really? Yeah. I'm... S <laughs> Imagine that you just entered a pitch black room. Okay. There's an oil lamp, a newspaper, and some kindling wood inside the room. But okay. But you only oh. have one match. You have to make a tough choice. Right. What will you light first? You're in a dark room, you have these three things, and you can only light one first. Uh, okay, I feel the paper's gonna go away way too fast. I wanna light the lamp. The oil lamp makes the most sense. I guess probably the piece of wood. Why the wood? Because I think that's the only one you can transfer. The match, right? Because if you don't light the match, you can't light anything on fire. I would light the match first. The oil lamp is definitely a good choice, but still incorrect. First of all, you'll need to light the match. Oh. <clears throat> wow. I didn't think of that. So good thing I didn't say that. I'm getting it. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I want you to be an FBI agent. I appreciate agent. that. It's more fun if I become the FBI agent. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Danny, two for two. God, I'm a... That's not even mm. logic based. That's just sneaky wordplay. What the fudge? Mm. Okay. But this, but you're gonna say I failed. I know I'm correct. Oh God. Imagine a scene. A man was found dead. He has a pistol in his hand and a cassette recorder next to him. Okay, I'm imagining it. The detective pressed the play button and listened to the what? And listened to the message. Listened to the message, okay. It said, I'm tired of this life and decided to stop my pain and suffering. And then a shot follows. Somehow the detective doesn't believe it was suicide. That was a lot of information. I'm, I'm trying to simplify because my brain doesn't simplify. It's something with the cassette. How would he have rewound the tape if he was dead? I feel like the killer was the one that recorded the voice it would have the tape would have, will have been rewound so there's someone had to that's what i'm saying like someone had to stop it rewind it and have it be ready to press play there's a, there's a firm pinky on it i understood though like to me that just made sense i don't know why all right so i've got one out of three yeah i did it when, once you find out what it is, you're like, oh my God, it was staring me right in the face. Yes, and I'm a Gen Z. I do know what a cassette is. I wanna hear none of that in the comments. <laughs> you head over to your desk and look through some crime scene photos. Oh, do when I? you ask your boss, which one of these buildings is the new crime scene in? She says, the closest one. Now, look carefully. Which of these buildings is closer? Is it A, the left, or B, the right? This is so hard to tell. I think they're actually side by side. 
They're not side by side, I'll give you that. I'm trying to see if something is smaller in one of them. I'm trying to see where the sun is hitting. It looks like A is being shadowed. If it's B and the sun is hitting on the side of B like that, then there should also be sun on A. I wish I had a better reason. There's just slightly portions that look like A is overlapping B. I think A is the closer one then. I'm gonna say B, I have to go with my gut. B's in front How and A's behind it. Your eyes? I say A's because the closer. answer is A, the one on the left. That building has blocked out the pattern of railings on the right hand building. And if you look closely, you can also see the satellite dish. Not very sharp, I guess. This may not be an eye test, but you do need 20-20 vision in at least one eye. I have contacts, I'm blind already, <laughs> so. I am out of the FBI already. How are you not having any reaction to being right? I'm an FBI agent, man. I gotta keep the same level. I can't get too excited or too low. These are called figural reasonings. Do you know what they are? Should I lie? <laughs> figural reasoning is basically where we show you some patterns and you have to decode what the next pattern in the sequence is. And your options are A to E. Oh no, I hate this stuff. Um, so let's just take the top row. We go two, one, one, two. They're moving like a counterclockwise direction. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, my head is hurting from looking at all of these. Can I give you a hint? I would love a hint. Just count the number of circles. One, two, three, four, five. The pattern is five, seven, five, seven. It's E. I actually have no clue, so I'm gonna go E. I'm gonna go with E. It would be E. It's E. Congratulations. Usually they're a little more complicated than that, but yeah, it's E. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it, man. You guys would like to gradually make these harder. Taking it another step further now. Oh my god, I failed geometry. E! E! All right, so we're looking at the top ones. So we've got a square, a triangle, a triangle, a circle. Think area. Huh. Well, the first one, you have a triangle into a square, and then you have a circle into a triangle, and then you have the circle gets bigger, and then like weird shape is fitting into like kind of a circle. Now the next one, the circle-ish shape has to be the biggest thing, and the only thing where the circle-ish shape is the biggest thing is B. Okay, my gut was C. B? I'm gonna say C. Yeah, we can go with C. The correct answer is B. <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> nice. No help on that one. But not for the reason that you said. Oh. <laughs> so if you look at each of the shapes, there's two shapes in each tile, right? Right. One's the bigger one, one's the smaller one. The smaller one, when it gets inserted into the bigger shape, the area which is in the bigger shape is bigger than the area which is outside. It's confusing, but I feel like I need to stop overcomplicating this. <laughs> It gets me so mad when I'm that close. <laughs> Pressure's on, Danny! I know, I'm... <laughs> Round seven. Fight. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look at the squares. It's gonna be solid, like, empty, solid, empty. It's gotta be A, B, or C. On all of the sides, the dots are on the same side, and the only thing I can find that's different between all the ones at the bottom is that they're not on the same, like, plane. Are the colors flipping? Blue, black, then it goes black, blue. But they're always on the same side, so I'm leaning towards B. I'm, I'm imagining it like going around. I'm gonna follow the black dot. Yep. And we're gonna go, goes up to the other corner, down. So it should end in the bottom left corner. What's your final answer? Probably B. So we're going with B. I think it's gonna be B. I'm gonna go with C. That is a correct answer. Boom. They haven't had repeat locations, so it can't be B, so it's C. And you said it was the easier one. <laughs> I'm attempting the FBI physical fitness test. We're starting off with push-ups where at a minimum Whoa. you need 30 reps. Me? You want me to do this? No. My first thought is I hope you're not going to ask me to do any of this because I'm definitely not. I'm going to have to work out. Oh, no. These are the minimum fitness requirements. Where, where do you sit in this? Um, 30 to 39 women. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Push-ups are not timed. Sit-ups, so you have to do it under a minute. And I'm doing this, right? As opposed to? Uh, a stunt double? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're doing push-up test? Got it. You have to do at least 15 to pass. You know, I've been in a really big workout phase, so this feels right up my alley recently. Ready? Yep. One, two. Oh my god, I think that's worse. Four, 
Five, 11, 12. <laughs> oh, my arms hurt. 19, 20. Two more, two more, Danny. 40. Last one. 50. 29, we got this. There we go. 15. Well, I'm not gonna go more than I need to. 29. Yay. 24. Was it 24? Yeah, it was 24. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for the sit-ups in one minute? Yeah. When you do the first one, I'll start the timer. Three, two, one, go. One, oh, my two, back. three. How are you feeling? I feel like I'm Four, slow. <laughs> five, seven, eight. You're doing a good pace. Nine. Tell me what you're thinking as you're doing this. <laughs> I'm thinking of a number. <laughs> Twelve. Ow. Thirteen. I feel like I have this. But I feel like I'm going too slow. Thirty-one. <laughs> 32! Uh, uh, 33! You hit 35. I'm going. <laughs> Just for fun. Oh, you got me. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, you went over time. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm like, oh, this is the bad surface to do this on. Two and a half seconds to spare. Yes! <laughs> but don't have the brain power, I have the physical ability. I feel exhilarated after that workout. I feel like I felt the most secure in that portion, definitely, than any of the other ones. Oh my god, I can't. Ow. Everything was hard. Mental, physical. How are you feeling? <laughs> Surprised. <laughs> I mean, we got muscle. That's what matters, I think, in the real world. We got muscle. We got muscle. <laughs> you are officially an happy agent. Wow. Let's try this one. All right. Wow, this feels like a big moment. Yeah. It's almost like the ACT test. You got to prepare for this. Yeah, people do. And you watch all the, uh, you know, shows about FBI and this stuff, you know, this isn't the stuff you think about. What's up? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching this episode. Which of these challenges would you have thought was hard? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to see more Try Not To videos. Bye. I'm going to know. Bye! Bye. Call a doctor. Over and out. Skew!